Okay, I wanted to give a quick update uh, on to how my Moso bamboo is doing. Uh, it is currently middle of March 2016, and I've had this growing. Uh, I started growing this from seed in my basement uh, last year. It was around uh, July, August, um, and since then it has grown uh, quite a bit in this two-gallon pot that I have it in. So here's my grow box, as if you watch in my last video, you saw this before. I wanted to make the video here because I, number one, I wanted to show how much it's grown. And as far as the height goes, uh, I don't know. I would have to, I would have to measure it and I will do that in a, in a minute here. Just to be on the safe side, I took rainwater, filtered it, and boiled it. Um, and I've had two gallons of this since last year. And I use this mist bottle to spray this uh, every day. Um, because the humidity in the house uh, is a little bit lower, especially during the winter, so it's good to do that. Um, the reason why I use rainwater is because if you use tap water, you're gonna get mineral deposits all over your leaves, and over time, that can add up to a lot. Um, so I use rainwater that doesn't have all that stuff in there, the calcium and lime and whatever comes in tap water. Um, mainly that's why I use that. And, uh, Every other week, I water it with um, a mixture of one gallon of water and this Fox Farm Grow Big. This is a, it's a pretty good um, uh, fertilizer for the plants. And I also, if you didn't remember in the last video or if you didn't watch it, I used Fox Farm Ocean Forest Soil. And I mixed um, garden lime in there, which is dolomite lime, and uh, also a little bit of the, um, uh, asthma coat that's what I put in there um, but that was more towards after this has grown for about six months so I, uh, I put a little bit of that in there just to have a nice slow release of nutrients over time um, I do water it once a week uh, it's actually once more like every five to six days depending because it dries out pretty quick so every other week like I said I use that um, I also pH my water and I use this to pH it up because my tap water is usually around neutral uh, or seven on the pH scale, which is on the side of this bottle. Uh, I don't really have to do much to the tap water to bring it down to a 6.5 and it's not completely necessary to do that. Um, I just do it to be on the safe side. However, when you add this, um, uh, any, any type of fertilizer, liquid fertilizer for plants or, or plant food, whatever you want to call it, um, anytime you add that to water, it will it will usually make it more acidic. If you use tap water, you're gonna put the pH down in there. Your tap water is more likely neutral than acidic or alkaline, anyways. Um, so you're gonna add a few drops of that just to do that. This here, if I mix it into the gallon of water, I do not have to pH the water. This this almost in a gallon of water, this makes it perfect at six uh, six point five. So I don't have to do anything to it. I've got to use pH up or down. Um, if I do add other uh, uh, plant foods to it, um, not as necessary to do that. You just need that. It will make the water too acidic. So it'll actually go down to like a 6.0 and sometimes even a even can be as low as a, uh, a 5, uh, which isn't good. So anytime you want nutrients to be absorbed by the plant roots um, instantaneously and the, basically the most bang for the buck that the roots can absorb is you want the, the pH of the water to be right around 6.5. That's a good uh, range to do it. Uh, if, if it's outside that range, there's certain nutrients that the plant cannot absorb. However, there are, depending on what nutrients the plants are looking for, what you're growing, on the lower scale, um, you know, certain nutrients are only going to be absorbed the most at more acidic and certain ones at more alkaline. But right in between, you know, at the middle range, slightly acidic, 6.5, is is the happy medium for everything. So that's just a good number. Um, so anyways, kind of getting back on track here after that long explanation. The reason why I, uh, I wanted to make this video is because um, this is looking pretty healthy for the most part is pretty healthy and I've actually about four times I've actually cut all this back I've cut off branches and I've cut off canes all the way down to the base and I've had bundles as big as what you're seeing here so this is a, a, maybe 
a fourth or a fifth of what was actually growing out of here in total since I've been trimming it. Um, however, it stopped growing, not really stopped growing, but it, the plant wasn't looking uh, quite as nice. You know, the leaves were showing some, maybe some deficiencies and it didn't look quite as nice green. So now then, then it happened over a period of like, you know, two weeks or so. So I was like, well, what's going on with this? Well, um, I, I, every now and then I was running through like two gallons of water to, to kind of flush the soil. Um, I wasn't doing it all that much, but recently I decided to test the pH of the soil. So naturally all I really did is I grabbed a gallon of water, watered it, uh, let it soak up so that everything kind of, uh, all the minerals and everything kind of loosen up, uh, any, any salt deposit that comes in your plant food. And then what I did is I poured another gallon of water to, to flush all that through. And uh, then I took that gallon of water after I sucked it out of the bottom of that. And um, I did not pH the water, so it was a neutral pH, it was seven. So the gallon gives, if I take a whole gallon out at the same time from the runoff, they'll give me a nice average of what's going on. So when I tested it, um, the water coming out was actually at, this right here was actually orange, it was like five. So I ran another two gallons through that, and it was around the same thing. It might have increased to around five and a half because the, the color changed slightly. Um, but it was on the verge of actually being red almost four when I first tested it. Um, it was closer to five, but I, I couldn't really tell you exactly the number. So, um, I tested that and then so I'm like, oh my, you know, my gosh, that's, that's a little bit uh, too acidic for the soil now. I mean, bamboo likes slightly acidic, but slightly acidic doesn't mean that low. Uh, you know, four or five is not good. Um, so I grabbed some garden lime in the bag and I had done this already when I mixed the soil up and it's supposed to last for a certain amount of time, but you know, every so many times you water it, it flushes everything through. So, um, eventually whatever's in that soil is going to come out nutrients whatever um, so what I did is um, added that dolomite lime this was only in the last week here actually and I put it on top of the soil probably a little more than the bag suggests then what I do is I I water the top of that let it sink down I did that with two gallons of water um, over a period of like an hour. Uh, first gallon it was immediately and then I went back after about an hour later and watered another one. Tested the soil again. The pH didn't really change. I, I mean I tested the water that came off. So as you know, you know, it, it takes time for the the, the lime and uh, calcium or whatever's in there to to get down into the soil after you water it because it has to mix in with it basically. Um, so this past uh, week it's been sitting there and I just tested it today and I got a pH of 6.5 that was after two gallons that I ran through um, and that was after the soil was fairly dried out too so the first gallon was mostly absorbed um, and then the next one uh, ran everything through so I, I got a gallon out to test and it got 6.5 so now it's happy so I just wanted to say after showing you that and explaining that to you dolomite lime uh, the Garden Lime by S. Poma is what I use. It works. Your soil pH will go to 6.5 just like it states. So I was very happy with that. Okay, as promised, uh, here is the height now. And show this to you if I can get it. The uh, height of the tallest cane is above 36 inches. So it is just above three feet tall, measured down to just the base here, not the bottom of the pot, the base of the soil. So it has grown another foot tall. If I remember, I think it was two feet in the last video. So it's grown a foot taller. So by the time this goes outside this summer, uh, like I predicted or hoping, uh, this would actually be up to a four foot plant in one year.